Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we would talk a little bit about a frequently asked question, which is the pull up or pull down resistor. What's its purpose? Why do we have to use it? Now, they're used in digital logic because digital logic circuits can generally have three states, okay? They can be on or true or positive, however you want to call it. They're all, all means the same thing. They can be off or false or negative. And the third state, which is the, the tri-state, is what we just call high Z. It is a high impedance state where it could be either positive, negative, on, off. We just don't know. So what I've done here is I've put a little demonstration together. Something really easy to hope, hopefully help you understand. So what I have here is just a really simple little Arduino circuit. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. Trying to get the lights balanced. I'm doing something different with the lights on my desk here. Okay. So here's a simple Arduino circuit. The, all the all the sketch does is read a digital read of pin number nine. And you notice here how pin number nine is simply flicking back and forth between zero and one. That is that third state, the tri state, the high impedance. So. What we want to do is we want our circuit to be certain of the state of all of its inputs. And we do that with a resistor, pull down, pull up, whichever way it calls for. Now, generally in selecting a value, you want something that's not going to be so high resistance that it doesn't matter and it still can't tell. And you don't want something that is so low in resistance that it would just uh, short the circuit out somewhere in the 2k to 10k is a good place to start I generally use a 10k so if we place this 10k resistor between this pin and ground you'll see that we have now locked that input into zero or false or off. That's pulled down. Now if I put it into the positive, we have locked it into one, true, plus. It is no longer in the tri-state, it is in one state or another. So that's the purpose of the pull down resistor. And let me just take it a little bit further to help you understand how you might use it. So let's say that you have an Arduino project or a sketch that calls for a switch or a button rather. So there's our button and we want it to go high when we press the button. So we put the button in between our input pin and the five volt power source. But you see it's still floating around. It doesn't know the Arduino would be reading these as button pushes. Now if we press the button, it locks it at one. It's done the same thing that our resistor did. So what we want to do here Your, your switches have four outputs on them. And the ones that are the farthest apart are ganged together. The ones that are close together are opposites. So we can simply put them, this together like so. Just gotta make sure I got everything in the right columns. Now see we're on the left side of the button. So we put our resistor also on the left side of the button 
and now we are certain that our circuit is locked down to low. When nothing happens, it's always going to read a zero. So we just go from the other side of the button to our positive voltage rail. And now whenever we press the button, it's one. When it's not pressed, it's zero. We can easily switch this around, move the resistor to the VCC and the other side of our button to ground, and then when we press the button, it goes low. This is the pull up resistor. So there you go. Resistors pull up, pull down, and how to use them in a simple circuit. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to all the patrons who are sticking around. That's it. I'm out. Peace.